Hi guys, it's Emily, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to find the true shape of a plane using the edge view method. Now, in this problem, we are given the same plane, but in two different views. So, we can see that we are given plane OYZ in the horizontal plane and the frontal plane. And we know that from looking at our subscripts. So H means horizontal and F means frontal. And so the first step in finding the true shape of a plane is to find the true length of a line that exists on the plane. And in this case, we are given a true length line, uh, ZY. And so the way that we know that is because if we look in our frontal plane, we can see that ZY is parallel to our HF folding line. And so that means that in the adjacent horizontal view or horizontal plane, ZY is a true length. And so now that we've obtained a true length line on the plane, uh, what we want to do is we want to make an extension line that extends this true length line ZY in our horizontal plane. And the method that we're using in this video is called the edge view method. And the reason why we call it the edge view method is because we are going to be obtaining what is considered the edge view of this plane uh, first. And then from that edge view, we will obtain the true shape of our plane. So I'm just going to actually move this over just a tad, um, just so I know I have enough room. Okay. And so our first step was extending our true length line. So we've extended that. Now our next step is to create a folding line that is perpendicular to this true length extension line. So the easiest way for me to do that here is to just create a line over top the line we just constructed and then rotate it 90 degrees. And I'm placing this folding line uh, pretty close to my plane in my horizontal view. So we want to label this uh, folding line and I'm going to label it H1. And I labeled it H on this side because we're still in the horizontal plane. And then the one because this will be our first auxiliary view space. And this is perpendicular, these two lines. These are perpendicular lines. Okay, and so the next step is to uh, make another extension line. So I'm just gonna copy this extension line that we made and I'm gonna place it on the other point of our plane in our horizontal view. So now that we have these two extension lines, um, the next step is to count two folding lines back. So from our most recently drawn folding line, which would be folding line H1. So this would be one and two. So two would be our HF folding line. And so now we are in our frontal view or our frontal plane. And the next step is to take the perpendicular distance from our HF folding line to each of our points in our frontal view. So I'm going to go from my uh, HF folding line to my point O and I'm doing that the same, or I'm doing the same thing with point Z and 
with points y. And so now I want to take these distances that I've just measured and I'm going to place those onto my uh, newest extension lines. So I'm taking this distance from my points O and I'm placing it on our extension line O but in our auxiliary view. So I'm just going to rotate this slightly so that it fits right on our extension line and I'm labeling it as well. So this is point O. And now I'm going to do the same thing for Z and Y. And as you can see, uh, point Z and Y lie on the same, uh, well, they're in line with each other. So that means that the distance that we've obtained uh, from our HF folding line to each of our points in our frontal plane is the same. So I just need to take one of these lines and place it uh, onto the extension line in our auxiliary view. So I'm just going to rotate it slightly and place it on our extension line. So the end of this line represents point Z and Y. And then we connect our points and this line that we've just created is considered our edge view. So we can write edge view or EV for short. Okay, and so now that we've done this, um, the next step is to create a line that is parallel to our edge view. And this will be our second folding line that we're adding. So I'm just creating a line over top our edge view and then placing it above our edge view. And so these two lines are parallel and it's good to label all of our folding lines. So I'm going to label this one and two. And I labeled this one on this side of the folding line because we are in our first auxiliary view. And then we're going to put our second auxiliary view in this space. And in our second auxiliary view, we will be obtaining our true length or our true shape. And I'm actually just going to move this down again so I have enough room. Okay, and so now the next step that we need to do is uh, we want to create perpendicular lines um, that will be our extension lines from our edge view points. So these or this line that I'm drawing is going to be perpendicular to my uh, my folding line that I just drew. So I'm just overlapping them first and then rotating it. And then I'm placing these on the points um, in our edge view. Okay, and so once we've done this, we are going to repeat the same steps um, where we're going to count two folding lines back from the most recent folding line that we've made. So this is one and our H1 folding line is two. So now we are in our horizontal view. And I'm going to take the distances, the perpendicular distances from our H1 folding line to each of our points in our horizontal view. Okay, and so I'm going to start with uh, the distance that I found 
that goes from our H140 line to point Y in our horizontal plane. And I'm placing this on our extension line, our most recent extension line, where Y is. And I'm just going to rotate this line. Oops. <laughs> It is a kind of small line, so <laughs> I need to tweak it just the tiniest bit. There we go. Okay, and actually I'm going to shorten this extension line just so it doesn't interfere with our, our second auxiliary view. Okay, and so I'm going to label this point. This is point Y. And now I'm going to do the same thing for point C. So remember that uh, Y and Z in our edge view are at the same location. So we're going to use the same extension line um, to place the distance uh, that we obtained from our previous view for point Z. So point C goes here. And then lastly, we have the perpendicular distance from our H140 line to our point O in our horizontal plane. And so I'm just replacing this distance in our second auxiliary view. Oops. And I'm just going to rotate it slightly and finally place it. And this is our point O. And then the last thing to do is just to connect our points. And now we have officially obtained our true shape. Or TS for short. And so that is how you complete a true shape problem using the edge view method. I hope this helped. Uh, thank you for watching.